everybody. This is Dr. McBrick, and I am here with the Sheriff's Lockup from 1996. This is an awesome little set, and I stress little. I mean, look at the size of the minifigs compared to the buildings. Now, it is a tiny little set. There were some great classic Western sets. As a matter of fact, most of the classic Western sets came out of 1996 from Lego. Um, and uh, we had the uh, famous Fort Legorado, which I will be showing you as part of this series. Um, and it was a 64 by 64 stud set, so it was huge. And then we had the Bandit Secret Hideout, which was also a big set. Um, we had Gold City Junction, which was was another larger set and this was the smallest of the building sets the sheriff's lockup so I want to do what I did with the bandit secret hideout and what I'll be doing with Fort Legorado and Gold City Junction I want to build it first and I've already done that as you can see uh, and to show you it in all its glory I'm not going to do a full review of it because you can see some great reviews on other people's channels about these sets but I want to show you what it looks like now and then I'm going to mock it up really kind of maybe not so much mock it up in a sense but tweak it a little bit and just put on some additions and some things that just kind of give it that little extra flair um, to make it even more um, uh, exciting uh, and 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 to be honest better in some ways than it was when it came from the factory in 1996 so right here is what we have and as you see we have Dewey Cheatham right here and he has a stick of dynamite in his hand and I love that dynamite print that is going to be used for something that I will show you in a little bit so I'm going to toss Dewey over there um, and then of course we have Flatfoot Thompson and he is the uh, the bad guy um, and he's probably going to go in this outhouse looking cell um, <laughs> you know as a as a kid growing up in uh, West Virginia um, with the exception of the iron bars this pretty much looks like an outhouse to be quite honest with you <laughs> um, uh, you know I've uh, um, I've used many outhouses in my life um, even helped to move one from uh, um, one hole to another and I'll tell you what try moving an outhouse uh, interesting interesting stuff yeah, trust me when I say it is no fun whatsoever. But anyway, I don't know why I'm getting into that. Um, I should cut that out and put that on the bloop reel for the uh, um, the members and stuff. But anyway, this this is the lockup. So this is the sheriff's lockup. What I'm going to do is we have the little deputy there, do, 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 kind of the Barney Fife-ish guy. And then, of course, we have the sheriff. And there he is. His name's even up on the top there, sheriff. Um, and, uh, of course, this is a sticker up here. And this is back when Lego used to put stickers across two bricks. Um, but this is in excellent condition, if you ask me. I'm very happy with uh, the eBay seller who sold this to me um, and so you see it's a very small build all of the western sets were dollhouse builds at the time um, so you could go in in the back and you could basically um, find everything and you know kind of play and all this kind of stuff this seat tilts up now I'm not really sure why this seat tilts up that would be kind of a, a good play feature if they had this wall where this was an ejection seat and you could eject the sheriff if you were robbing the place um, or breaking out of the, the joint um, but uh, it doesn't do that so I'm not sure why it did that and then of course the back oh and we have oh it also comes with a with a, a beautiful white horse by the way and this one actually isn't really even faded hardly um, so that's nice uh, and then there's a, a little spot where they they have their coffee and they can they can slide there I don't know if you can see that in there but they can slide I'll take this off they slide the food into the the, the jail cell there um, not sure what the flame is uh, I guess that's just the torch just to light the way there and stuff like that and then here is the outhouse I mean cell um, that uh, is built up and you can see that there's a wall there now remember how I said that Dewey Cheatham had the stick of dynamite one of the cool features about this set and really really all the Lego sets from the 90s is they had really really cool booby traps and um and 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 different types of play features uh and so basically you take this stick of dynamite and um you stick it in here and watch what happens boom <laughs> and i mean that sucker goes geez oh pete i think i lost it where'd it go oh wait a minute <laughs> okay it's it fell on the floor so anyway so you can see and that's basically just a mechanism in here um this uh lego spring that's loaded so you kind of have to tilt the thing to get the get the dynamite back out you put that back in there um and uh and, and you, you you set that back on there so so that's kind of how they break them out of jail to be quite honest and i just think that's a really fun play feature we're definitely keeping that with the modifications that we're going to make speaking of modifications let's get into those 
Okay, here is my modifications, my mock of the Sheriff's Lockup set from 1996. Now, if you recall, um, this was oriented this way, uh, and you had the little, the front of the little Sheriff's Lockup was right here, and then you had that, the, the, the actual lockup jail cell that looked kind of like an outhouse sitting over there. Well, I decided to turn it around because I wanted to make it a full building. So let's take a look at what I did. Now, of course, I put a, I put a wagon wheel up here, just leaned it up against it, because what Western uh, um, building would be uh, complete without a, a wagon wheel leaning up against something, right? Um, and uh, of course, I have a chicken out there uh, just for the heck of it. Um, now, I wasn't able to get every single part that was the old 1996 tint brown. Um, I actually, as you can see here on the steps, um, I uh, have in the bench back there, um, and there are a couple of other spots where I had to use the reddish brown um, of today. So, um, um, I apologize for that, but I just did not have them in my collection. Um, and so in the, in the front here, what I did was basically, you know, kept all this the same. But I added a barrel, and then, of course, I added a bench back there by the window. Because, you know, whenever I've seen Westerns, uh, there's always some sort of a, um, gunslinger or, or person sitting over there on a bench with a scowl uh, in front of the sheriff's office for some reason. Um, so anyway, I, what I did was I basically built it um, as, a, uh, as a building would be made. Made, kind of almost ramshackled in a sense, put together uh, with as much, um, you know, uh uh, stuff as they had. Now, they didn't really have foundations back in the day, and because of the way the, the mud and the water and everything else was, they, they would raise their buildings. And normally this would be on wood, but this came with the set um, with uh, with two of these big plates to uh, hold up the uh, the, um, the the sheriff's uh, office. And so I just extended those back. And of course, I didn't have um, this dingy uh, gray uh, that was used back in the day. So I had to use the newer light bluish gray. But you can see it doesn't really make that much of a difference. I have a jumper plate up here that's uh, that that newer um, reddish brown. I put the Palisade bricks, which I had a lot of extra Palisade bricks. I had got a um, 200 of these types of Palisade bricks from an old eBay haul um, of all different sizes. Well, really the fours, the twos, and the big ones, because that's all they made. Um, and so, uh, um, so anyway, so I got those a while back, and I just, and so I had enough to use those. And they're the original brown tint. Now the roof I made in a modular style, so the roof comes off, um, and uh, uh, it just it just pops off with these uh, two jumpers right here. Um, and you can see you can see the, the how 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 it's held on. And I had to use a really dirty base or a, a dirty plate. But what I did was I, I gave it some texture because I thought you know if you think about it, um, they would be building. Oh no, the play feature came out. Um, they would be building um, a. Uh, uh, you know, uh, this out of tin and all that kind of stuff, um, perhaps out of wood, but it would just be kind of uh, nailed together and all different sizes and levels and things like that. So that's why I did it that way. Now, I won't put these back on because I want to show you the inside, but I put a stove pipe there that leads to the pot belly stove inside um, and uh, all of that. So let's take a look behind. Again, um, the back is, is uh, I tried to make it so that it, it looks good from all angles. Um, the back still has that play feature. Now, of course, if you were had a sheriff's lockup for real back in the old west you'd make it out of masonry brick and so or this or concrete and so this is what they did in that um in this original set i kept this i was going to put the masonry bricks in here um but i just thought you know what i'm going to keep the originals um and i kept it and so it, you know it looks really good now i did have to modify it inside to make it all fit and to give me room for other things that i added inside of the building um, but that still works, and um, instead of losing the dynamite now, you just put the dynamite in um, one stud, and you get the play feature. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh, that thing, once again, this has some power. But now the nice thing is when you pull that back out, it pops this out so you don't have to turn and and, uh, and, and jiggle the entire building and stuff like you did in the old model. Um, so, so basically, that's the outside of the sheriff's lockup. I had two of these extra windows from that Western Hall that I had got on eBay a while back, so I put those in. Now let's go inside and take a look. So if you recall, on the inside of the sheriff's lockup, all they had was a little table and a chair and that safe. 
So you see there's a whole lot of room now. So when you come into the sheriff's lockup, you do still have that table right there. And I made a little coffee pot and two mugs right there so that that way the sheriff and the deputy can get their uh, coffee and they can brew their coffee on the pot belly stove, which is right over here. Um, I kept the wanted poster hanging up on the wall. Now that stovepipe there goes up. And then, of course, on the roof, there's a simulation of the stovepipe going all the way through it. So uh, it's, it's, it's continuous. Um, there's the safe there. Uh, we have the key to the cell and a little slot where they can put uh, drinks and food and things like that, just like in the old uh, set or the original set. Um, it's not as big of a slot because of the window there, but the slot still exists for them to be able to put food and th things through. Now, if you w had to sit and just watch this prisoner and not really do much, um, then you would probably be playing cards, right? And that's what I did. I added a uh, card table with some chairs and things of that nature so that that way uh, the uh, um, the sheriff and the deputy, they go, oh, looks like the sun is, uh, <laughs> is moving. Um, <laughs> what's going on here? All right, there we go. Um, and so I put a little table up there on a barrel. Um, they basically are just playing some cards. There's a bed right there as well because everyone needs a bunk. And, uh, you know, you have to stay at the sheriff's office and they have to take turns, right, um, at uh, guarding the uh, town and things like that. So there's always some sort of bunk or something like that in the sheriff's um, building of the Old West. And so I put that there. And as you can see, there's some. he has some of his weapons there. And, of course, laid his hat there while uh, he's playing some cards with, uh, um, with someone. Could be townsperson, could be uh, someone else. Now, the sheriff's lockup, the actual jail cell, uh, it operates just as the jail cell did back in the day. Still looks like an outhouse, to be quite honest. It looks a little bit better because um, of the nature of trying to squeeze it together. I had to uh, um, take it in two studs. And so uh, you, there's actually a place to sit in there now. I mean, almost a, a suggestion of a little bunk. Um, for the, uh, the the prisoner. Now, I did keep this play feature here. So, oh, I didn't mean to do that. But uh, if you took off the top to this desk, um, you would see that there's all kinds of money in there. So somebody, the sheriff or the deputy or somebody is uh, looking to uh, um, to take or to uh, take some cash. Uh, I guess whenever they uh, capture their prisoners and stuff, um, they take that as as evidence, and uh, perhaps they uh, they go to uh, the local saloon um, and uh, and spend it. <laughs> so anyway, this is the sheriff's lockup. The inside. Um, let me know what you think. I think it looks a lot. Obviously, it's a lot uh, roomier, um, but I do think it looks more um, period style in terms of a Western sheriff's office. Uh, now, it's not the dollhouse style, which I would have loved to have kept, but in order to get it all in and to fit it all on the base plate that it came with um, and to be as... as, as uh, um, you know, as true to, uh, to the original as possible. Um, I, I, I had to build it in a modular type of style with the roof coming off instead. Um, so, uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything you think I should add. There's not much room to add. I thought about tiling it, but again, those old Western sets kind of look cool with all of the studs showing and things. Um, so that's why I kept it that way. Uh, so anyway, um, that is the Western lockup uh, from 1996. I'm not sure why I'm really getting this crazy... Uh, um crazy focus there, but uh, there it is, um, complete with chicken, uh, and uh, I think it's going to look really cool in um, my western area of Six Figs. Uh, I think it's going to look uh, really sweet. The reason I stuck these out here um, was uh, I actually had to, and I, I just thought, you know, I don't know, it, it kind of, if, if I want to put a building up next to it, which I won't, um, because I, I want to have an alleyway at least through here, um, it wouldn't work because those are sticking out, but but, you know, when you look at it, um, I think it's just, again, the idea that this is kind of a ramshackle. You put it together with tin and, and block and, and uh, wood and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, these are suggestions of the wood going up through the through the roof. Um, and, uh, you know, the roof's just kind of slapped together and nailed and all that sort of thing. But you wouldn't have a very pretty building for a sheriff's office back in the Old West. And and and, and I think this is this is actually a pretty nice-looking building um, for, uh, for that time period. Um, so let me know what you think. 
mean, please uh, comment down below. Uh, like this video if you uh, if you like it. Um, share it if, if you're so inclined. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, we'd love to have you as part of the family. I really appreciate all the support that everyone has given. Um, please, in this time, in 2020, wear your masks, be safe, and be healthy. Um, this is Dr. McBrick, signing out.